Matt Gates finds skeleton in Hillary Clinton's closet, demands criminal culpability. Oh, man, I mean, people been reporting on the on the Clintons for <laughs> for a long, long time, but they still walking around. Uh, you know, people just happen to be dying that that decide to uh, 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 testify on the Clintons and uh, all this corruption and fraud and. It's it's crazy how the amount of, of criminal activity they get away with. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my work, um, merch store. Also, check out uh, JJ the Psychotherapist for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. <clears throat> Republican rep Matt Gates has put Hillary Clinton on notice following newly the newly emerged damning revelations about the twice failed Democrat presidential candidate. When Gates learned from the Durham report, the FBI had at least four open investigations into the Clintons that were suddenly dropped in the months before the 2016 presidential election. He immediately made his move. Gates called for those criminal investigations into the Clintons to be reopened. Gates said, quote, the Clintons had a team of people at the FBI running interference for them to avoid criminal culpability. These matters absolutely warrant additional exposure and review. Former Republican Congressman Jason uh, Chavez uh, Chavez agreed that Gates with Gates saying the FBI didn't complete the job. He said, quote, they had the scent they were on the trail and they were shut down by the higher ups who had an obvious political desire to see Donald Trump lose to Hillary Clinton and Hillary Clinton win. It's disgusting, really. Absolutely. These investigations should be revisited. There's no reason why Congress can't have a series of hearings with the field agents who are pursuing the Clinton Foundation and public interviews with them as well, he said. But I mean, <laughs> it's already the thing is. All their dirt has already been laid out in the book, uh, Clinton Cash. I can't remember the name of the author right now, but it's already been laid out. God did all the work for for them. All you got to do is read the book, and it'll point out every single thing that the Clinton did that, that has been doing over the years that's been illegal, especially pertaining to the Clinton Foundation. But Durham's report called out Hillary Clinton personally over her, quote, plan to stir up a scandal against U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump by tying him to Putin and the Russians' hacking of the Democratic National Committee. The Durham report says, quote, Beginning in late 2014, before Clinton formally declared her presidential candidacy, the FBI learned from a well-placed source that a foreign government was planning to send an individual to contribute to Clinton's anticipated presidential campaign as a way to gain influence with Clinton should she win the presidency. Beginning in January 2016, three different FBI fields, field offices, the New York field office, um, and the Washington field office, and the Little Rock uh, field office, opened investigations into possible criminal activity involving the Clinton Foundation. The IR IRFO case opening communications referred to an intelligence product and corroborating financial reporting that a particular commercial industry likely engaged a federal uh, public official in a flow of benefit schemes, namely large monetary contributions were made to a nonprofit under both direct and indirect control of the federal public official in exchange for favorable government action and or influence. The WFO investigation was open as a preliminary investigation because the case agent wanted to determine if he could develop additional information to the court to corroborate the allegations in a recently public book, Clinton Cash, um, by Peter Swizer, uh, before seeking to convert the matter to a full investigation. And that's the book I was alluding to. But quote, additionally, the LRFO and NYFO investigations included prediction um, predication based on source reporting that identified foreign governments that had made or offered to make contributions to the foundation in exchange for favorable or uh, preferential treatment from Clinton. According to another agent, the application 
uh, linger because everyone was uh, super more careful and scared with the big name Clinton, of course, involved. And they were pretty, they were pretty tiptoeing around HRC because there was a chance she would uh, be the next president. The Department of Justice, um, the, I'm sorry, the Department of Justice Public Integrity Section Chief Ray Hustler. Uh, Holser, I should say, said FBI leadership uh, held a joint meeting with the three field offices, FBI headquarters and um, appropriate United States attorney offices. But it was, quote, poorly presented and an FBI saw, quote, insufficient prediction, I'm sorry, predication for at least one of the in investigations. A spokesperson for the Clinton Foundation denied the um, nonprofit has ever been involved in an, any illegal activity, but <laughs> we all know that's a lie. Of course, they're gonna. I mean, what are they gonna say? What are they gonna say? Yeah, we're we're conducting criminal activity. But um, let me know what you think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out uh, jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.